Hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be talking about the blm founder patrice coolers she recently splashed out a whopping 1.4 million dollars on a brand new home in los angeles adding to her very healthy real estate portfolio which is estimated at around 3.2 million dollars in the us alone now the chairperson of the New York chapter of BLM is actually calling for an investigation into how she's managed to acquire all of this property. Coolers has reportedly purchased four high-end homes for $3.2 million in the US alone, including property in a mostly white area of Topanga Canyon in Los Angeles County for $1.4 million. BLM reportedly brought in $90 million in donations last year and now inquiring minds want to know if or how Coolers is paid by the organisation and how much she has contributed to the charity. Hawk Newsom, the head of Black Lives Matter Greater New York City, is calling for a probe into Coolers' finances. He's quoted as saying, If you go around calling yourself a socialist, you have to ask how much of her own personal money is going to the charitable causes, he told The Post. It's really sad because it makes people doubt the validity of the movement and overlook the fact that it's the people that carry this movement, he continued. In addition to the Topanga Canyon estate, Coolers and her wife, Janaya Khan, also own a custom ranch on 3.2 acres in Conyers, Georgia, that boasts an aeroplane hangar. They purchased the property last year for 415000 according to the report. Two years after the publication of Coolers, the best-selling book, When They Call You a Terrorist, a Black Lives Matter memoir. Additionally, the Post claims that in recent years, Coolers, a self-described Marxist, paid $510,000 for a three-bedroom home in Inglewood, California. In 2018, she dropped $590,000 for a four-bedroom home in South LA. Last October, she agreed to a multi-platform deal with Warner Brothers Television Group, and she said in a statement it was to help produce content for black voices who had been historically marginalised. The Post report sparked debate on social media with BLM supporters and critics noting that Colour's high-end lifestyle just doesn't vibe with her social justice activism. She had a lot of options on where to live. She chose one of the whitest places in California, sports journalist Jason Whitlock tweeted. She'll have her pick of white cops and white people to complain about. That's a choice, bro. So before I give you guys my little two cents on what I think on the situation, we're just going to have a look at some of these houses that she's bought because these are some serious luxury properties. So this is their most recent purchase, which is a three bedroom, three bathroom house with a guest house in Topanga Canyons in California, which was purchased for 1.4 million. It's an absolutely stunning property with a lot of land and potential to expand the house. This next property is a four bedroom, two bathroom with a small guest house. It was purchased for $590,000 in 2018, but is now worth an estimated $720,000. Next up is this three bedroom house in Inglewood, Los Angeles, with one and a half bathrooms and a backyard tree house, purchased in 2016 for $510,000 and is now worth $775,000. And their house in Conyers, Georgia, a three bedroom house with an aeroplane hangar purchased in 2020 for $415,000. As you can see, they have a very impressive real estate portfolio. So personally, I have always kind of suspected Black Lives Matter to have a fraudulent underlying agenda. And it doesn't really surprise me that this is kind of transpiring now. I mean, obviously it's not been confirmed whether or not the money that has been used to purchase these properties has come from, you know, donation money, but it kind of does indicate that that may be the case. I have always been suspicious about where the money does go because they have collected such a substantial amount of donations and I haven't seen them set up any type of way that the black community can access any of these funds. So it will be interesting to see how this situation pans out. Currently, some supporters of Black Lives Matter are rioting in Minnesota due to the shooting of a young man named Dante Wright, who was fatally shot by a female police officer earlier on today. And these are some of the scenes from the rioting. And I'm showing you this just to say that it's clear that the people that support BLM and push forward their agenda 
with actually putting their feet out on the streets and protesting and making you know as much of a stand as they do are not the people that are benefiting from this charity these are people that are clearly in a bad situation they are taking this opportunity to loot and steal things which is obviously not something that you would do if you were in a good financial situation and to be honest the amount of money that blm have potentially spent on properties they could have really made an impact on these communities of the people that they say and claim that they are raising funds and collecting donations to help but of course i want to know what you guys are thinking do you think that Patrice Coolers is going against her own Marxist principles with engaging in so much capitalist behaviour? Do you believe that she has been spending donation money on acquiring these properties? Personally, I'm all for women, you know, doing well and acquiring property and, you know, setting kind of foundations for themselves. But I do smell a hypocrite here, I can't lie. I do feel like with the whole Marxist principles that she has, she shouldn't be engaging in certain things. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.